Hey everyone, it's Injector Chris here at Lushful Aesthetics. I'm here with my lovely patient and model today, and we're gonna be demonstrating global optimization with Botox. So let's take a closer look at our patient's unique anatomy. So I always start off with the frontalis. That's the elevator muscle of the upper third of the face. So if you raise your forehead, can you do that? Yeah. So I want people to, to kind of take a closer look at that. Our patient has a unique hairline. And so a lot of newer injectors may not really think about this, but you still want to actually assess where that muscle is, even within the hairline. Um, so you, we actually are going to be injecting into the hairline because this muscle is still very prominent here and this is how high i want to be when i'm injecting above the brow i don't want to get too close to the brow because then that can cause a brow drop so knowing your anatomy is crucial in, in delivering optimal results so if you give me an angry face yeah this is the glabellar complex it consists of two muscle groups it's the corrugators on the side the processor in the center we can see how much our patient loves to use her nasalis here i mean she's using more of a nasalis than she actually really is her glabellar and so this is the thin muscle directly on top of the nose it can actually widen quite a bit with overuse and can make the nose look wider and it also gives you bunny lines so we're going to be treating that muscle give me a nice smile yeah our patient really doesn't have crow's feet yet but you can see that she is using this muscle and that we're starting to see just the early signs of these lines forming so doing some botox here will help keep her eyes more open and fresh and prevent these crow's feet from forming and then make, give me that angry face again see this all this movement and this upward pull of the mentalis. This is the muscle of the chin. Um, not everyone really uses this muscle so prominently, but she really does. And so this will cause um, more dimpling along the chin that over time. And so relaxing this muscle will prevent less of that upward pulling and less of that dimpling from forming. It'll actually make our patient's chin look a little bit more like it's giving it more projection, which will really balance out her face very nicely.